the sheer audacity of the Marxist Obama regime of late is, I, I, I can't believe that there hasn't been a revolution, or I should say a restoration. We don't need a revolution, ladies and gentlemen. That's, that's nonsense. There's nothing to, revolu to, 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 to form a revolution. That would be the worst thing. That would be, that's actually what they're hoping can happen that then they'll be able to co-opt that and, and utilize it as an excuse and let's see what happens. God knows what their game plans are, but there are game plans being put into place, ladies and gentlemen, to take away our guns. And as soon as they go to take away the guns, the people will rise up. And there's no doubt about it. But it won't be, it won't be a revolution. It'll be a restoration because what has happened to our republic is has been turned into a communist state slowly, incrementally. Uh, now this, uh, moving up, politically speaking, it's, it's obvious. Uh, you have uh, now Obama ex extends the Obamacare past the midterm elections. All this political stuff, the thing is a train wreck. Uh, they got it passed. It's like they passed the Federal Reserve and under false pretenses. All of the, and they, they do not serve the people. They serve these private interests. Interests that actually want to uh, control our economy through uh, collectivism. And people in high places in the Council on Foreign Relations, the Trilateral Commission, working for the Trans-Pacific Partnership, working to collectivize farming, put the small farmer out of business by regulation. The regulators are clearly working with... Um, uh, I mean, there is true regulation that needs to be done. Food has to be safe, water has to be safe, etc. But the bad polluters and the bad uh, producers uh, like Tyson Foods uh, will get thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of violations, but never uh, any, any uh, serious fines or, or any serious action being taken against them where smaller farms will be literally put out of business. Uh, this is what's going on. It's the insider's game. It's the Milner Group, um, again, started uh, by Cecil Rhodes with the Rhodes Scholarship that was set up. It was really a, uh, it is, anyone who's a Rhodes Scholar is working for the British Anglo-American establishment <clears throat> and to continue it at Cecil Rhodes' request. This is not opinion, ladies and gentlemen. This is fact. Uh, Cecil Rhodes created a secret society, that's right, a secret society, to do just this. There are no handshakes, there's no secret codes or anything else like Skull and Bones or a lot of the other orders which are working in concert with the Milner Group to bring about this one world totalitarian socialist government. And look how it's happening. Here's an example. Uh, Jeff Wilcox is uh, shutting down his 135-year-old family marine supply business in Stonington, Connecticut, a casualty in the battle over federal fishing limits. Okay, As fishermen are sidelined, taking their boats out of service for lack of work, New England's marine industry that repairs, stores, and cleans boats is next in line to feel the hit. Wilcox, owner of Wilcox Marine Supply, blames the federal government and the fishing limits it's imposed. In Stonington, he said, the number of draggers, fishermen who drag nets behind their boats, has dropped since the mid-1990s from 50 to 2. His business, which employed 13 people in the early 1990s, has dwindled to just himself. You see, this is what they're doing. They say we're going to create jobs, and there is no jobs. They're taking jobs away. They're, they're intentionally doing this. Intentionally putting trade agreements in place that favor their interests overseas, those in the Milner Group. That's right. Those in the order. You know, uh, they get tagged as Illuminati, but it's just like it's just the wrong word to use because the Illuminati is just a small little piece of it. It's not, they're not all the Illuminati, okay? There are thousands of orders. The Illuminati is one of them. Just one of many. The Skull and Bones. You know, you want to call them all Illuminati? I mean, what is Illuminati? It's, again, as Carol Quigley stated, with the Milner Group, there really are no titles and no and no official uh, understandings or, or or secrets per se. But they are working for the same cause to promote the Anglo-American Empire. 
and to bring about a world government in their own writings. Then we get into the situation with um, the, the deindustrialization of this country intentionally dumbing down its population. Now, we have to get kids to know more about math and science. Well, you dumbed them down for 40 years. How what do you expect? You think this is just a coincidence, ladies and gentlemen? You really just think that it's money thrown that's wasted? You know, because the Democrats, they seem to think that you just throw money at a problem and it takes care of it. And any family member, any anybody who's a father or a mother, are going to say, you're going to throw money at your problem with your son or your daughter. Is that going to solve the problem? No. It creates more problems. Does it not? Now, the government has been obviously spying on us. Uh, clearly, I've been saying this for years, and now it finally uh, comes out that, you know, Snowden, you know, I think he's a traitor or he's a hero. Um, there's an argument for both sides, honestly. Um, I think that there is some really sneaky intent upon Snowden, and he might be a double agent. There's definitely a possibility that that is true. But what he did served a purpose. Um, I don't think it served the purpose that he is saying that people are have to be awake to this one. That, you know, it, it just gives a little credibility to the truth movement who's been saying about this for a long time. But government has been mining social media for information on health behavior. And this goes back to Obamacare, which they pushed off. Now, Obama, the, the traitor... The, the, uh, I mean, it's, he, sh he really should, they all should be impeached. Boehner, you know, uh, again, they're, 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 they're destroying this country. They're traitors to the people for their own personal self-interests. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Biden, Boehner, the whole thing. Get, just actually impeach them all. They all should be impeached. Um, and the Speaker of the House as well. Of course, Boehner. And we have uh, a, a system of government that provides for this in the event of corruption. It's called high crimes and misdemeanors. It's treason. And there are provisions on how to handle these traitors. And these traitors should be arrested. They should be incarcerated. They should be tried. And if they're found guilty, they should hang. Simple as that. We have to take back our country, and they want a violent revolution. We need to restore our republic, restore the constitutional republic. The government is spying on us for behavioral information so they can raid us for the health care. The insurance companies and the drug companies wrote this. The drug companies kill 1.4 million people every single year, despite any numbers that they tell you, and it's growing. And the World Health Organization says that cancer is going to rise 57%, mostly in part to so many carcinogens that there are, ladies and gentlemen, but all these new drugs that they give us, all these new drugs that come on the market, all have a side effect of cancer. Pay attention to that. Listen to the side effects when they show those drug commercials and they're smiling and playing ball or hugging their dog. Okay? Listen to what it says. It says cancer, cancer, cancer. Now, all of a sudden, they say, World Health Organization says, we're going to have an increase of 57% over the next 20 years. What about GMO foods causing cancer? We know that. And sterility after three generations. What about vaccines? So what is going on on February 11th, 2014? Well, historic ice storm is unfolding in the south. Georgia's warning it's catastrophic. Experts predict Lake Superior will completely freeze over. We've got some serious situations here going here with those climate change people especially since the Rothschild Bank want those carbon taxes so badly, and Al Gore and everyone's talking about it. Of course, Yellen now is the uh, new puppet at the Fed, as I mentioned. The stock market tracks eerily with 1929. Well, we know that. I told you this is coming. It's coming, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to explode, and everyone's saying, oh, don't worry about it. Stocks are going to be great. Yeah, right. It's just doing the same thing it did in 29. I've been saying this, the uh, reporting on this for a long time. Uh, we've got a huge collapse coming. There's another article here um, on Drudge that talks about uh, Congressional Budget Office Director warns of a fiscal crisis, of course, um, and Obamacare is being forced down everyone's throats, and but AIDS patients are being shut out of the exchanges. Uh, it's just unbelievable, on and on. 
Hopefully, Eric Holder will step down. Looks like they're saying that he's going to. He should be. He should be actually arrested and uh, tried for uh, Fast and Furious and countless other crimes, trying to take the Americans' guns away from them. These are all. These are all treasonous. Taking away, wanting to do gun control is treason. Wake up. There's only one reason to do this. It's not the reason they want. Nothing that they ever do is what they say that they were going to do. Nothing that they ever do. It is always the same lie. They lie. And they do one thing and say another. It's the opposite of what they say. They want to take away your guns to keep you safe. They want to put you into tyranny. This is what's going on here. Drones to deliver uh, public services soon. How nice, I've reported on that before. Unbelievable. But this is where we are. This is America today. And everyone's watching the Olympics. U.S. ranked fourth for medals. Great. That's all that everyone cares about. They don't care about uh, the fact that our, our country's being overrun with illegal aliens. And then the whole idea with immigration. You know, my grandfather and his family came to this country on both sides. And they assimilated into America. They learned English. And they wanted to be good Americans. This is the difference with this whole communist ploy. Because they want to have this diversification. Interdependence. These are all key catchwords for the New World Order. This is what's going on. So you have now, they, don't, they, they hate our culture. They don't, now, it's, all the great buildings that were built were built by the, the Irish immigrants and the, and the Italian immigrants and the German immigrants and all of these immigrants. And their cultures remain to this day in this country. But they're Americans. And they assimilated to this country. They learned the language. They got educated. They worked hard. And many of them became successful. This is the American dream. They paint a tremendous picture. But it's not like the picture. Okay? This is different. These people are not assimilating to our country. We have to assimilate to them. How many languages are our, are our information going to be in? How many buttons are we going to have to push when we call for, for help from a, a customer service person? Do you want English? Do you want Spanish? Do you want... I mean, come on. Do you see? It's not a bilingual country. It never was. It was never meant to be. That's why there's so many different nationalities. But why, So why Spanish? Okay? Assimilation must be done. Assimilation. And everyone had to go through the, the, the routines. Anyone had to, to go through the process to become a citizen. Not, not amnesty, not any of this. And it's a tremendous problem. And it's part of the reason why we are failing as a nation in every aspect. While they say we're so great and wonderful, we are really um, a sagging nation, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's just look, just just look at the way people talk. Young people, the education—they're just not educated. They're just not educated. And they don't want to be educated. They want to be given everything, and they want it easy. And this whole thing with Obamacare is de-incentivizing work. Same thing with all of these other welfare programs. They don't help. They make more people dependent. You ever go into the woods, you know, you go into a, like a, I don't know, a park or something, and you see there's a sign, you know, maybe like you're camping, and it says, don't feed the bears, they'll become dependent. You think people are any different? Think about it. Yeah, formaldehyde causes cancer. There, formaldehyde is in vaccines. What about, uh, I mean, fluoride in the water causes cancer. Uh, th these things are intentionally put in our supplies, and nobody's doing anything about it. We're called conspiracy theorists when we point it out, give all the evidence. What about the chemtrails? My God, there's just so much and so much evidence. Please, don't believe me. Find your own truth. There is only one truth. Seek, and you'll find it. are guns. And as soon as they go to take away the guns, the people will rise up. And there's no doubt about it.
But it won't be, it won't be a revolution. It'll be a restoration because what has happened to our republic is, has been turned into a communist state slowly, incrementally. Uh, now this, uh, moving up politically speaking, it's uh, control our economy through uh, collectivism. And people in high places in the Council on Foreign Relations, the Trilateral Commission, working for the Trans-Pacific Partnership, working to collectivize farming, put the small farmer out of business by regulation. The regulators are, it's obvious, uh, you have uh, now Obama ex extends the Obamacare past the midterm elections. All this political stuff, the thing is a train wreck. Uh, they got it passed. It was like they passed the Federal Reserve and under false pretenses. All of the, and they, they do not serve the people. They serve these private interests. Interests that actually want to say a restoration. We don't need a revolution, ladies and gentlemen. That's, that's nonsense. There's nothing to, revolu to, 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 to form a revolution. That would be the worst thing. That would be, that's actually what they're hoping can happen. That then they'll be able to co-opt that and, and utilize it as an excuse and let's see what happens. God knows what their game plans are, but there are game plans being put into place, ladies and gentlemen, to take away. The sheer audacity of the Marxist Obama regime of late is, I, I, I can't believe that there hasn't been a revolution, or I should